Ian with the trailer here and today we're going to be looking at the True Ride Slip Spring Equalizer for 2 inch springs. This equalizer here is going to be for our 2 inch wide slipper leaf springs um, so make sure you're getting the right type when you need that equalizer. Uh, the side bolt diameters for the front and rear are both going to be 9 16 intended for 9 16 bolts there and then 7 16 as far as this uh, center bolt for your equalizer bolt. Another thing to keep in mind about this 12 inch long uh, equalizer here is that it is going to allow for either your tandems or triple axle so that may be something you need to factor in depending on how many axles you're running on your trailer. We've just got the two here uh, but that'll conclude the features. Let's go ahead and hop into that install. So these leaf springs are pretty rusted. You can see the ones in the rear here have shifted even. So we're going to need to get these out with these as rusted out as they are. I'm going to go ahead and just cut them off. I've got a cutting wheel here. Of course, always use safety protection when you're using all that. Eyes and ears every time. Now we're going to go ahead and take these end shackles loose. I've got a 7 8 wrench box end on the back and then a 13 16 to take this front end off. Um, there's going to be this one and then two in the middle and one at the end just the same as this on the hangers. Now with all our bolts loose for our end shackles of the springs, they're good to come out. So we'll just slide those out carefully. Just watch out for your axle, make sure it's well braced because it will shift around. And we'll push both of those out of the way and work on getting this end right here taken off. There's nothing to hold as far as hardware on this outside edge. But it'll be a one and five sixteenths on the inside. I'm just going to run the impact to get that off of there for us. Go ahead and drive this out of the center hole. Now we're going to get our equalizer block in there and that's just going to slide into place. This uh, wet bolt here is just going to sit through and into this square slot. We're going to go ahead and get the castle nut on the back side of this equalizer bolt. There is not a torque spec for this, but we're just going to go snug and then put the cotter pin in. So we want to orient the hole so that it lines up with the slots on the castle nut. We'll just kind of snug that down. We don't want to go too hard because the intent is to keep this from binding. It should always be able to move freely and adjust as it goes down the road. So here we're just about snug and almost lined up. You just have to do that a little quarter turn or eighth of a turn at a time to get that hole to line up. And then slide that cotter key through and bend your tabs sticking out for the cotter pin up out of the way. We're going to go ahead and get this spring hung up here. Easiest way I've found, just kind of worming it in and then rotate into place once we've got at least one side through. Lining up that center pin with the hole that is on top of the axle. And once we've got that into place, we'll just go ahead and get our hardware. And while these are going in for this particular trailer, eyelets are going to go on the front of this particular spring. Uh, same situation in the rear, eyelets are in the front. So make sure you've got that orientation right, otherwise you'll have to pull the whole thing apart and start over. Then our shackle bolts are going to line up with the hole here. They're going to feed through the face just like when we took them off. You may have to get underneath it and apply pressure downwards or left or right to get that hole to line up. Now we're going to run through and tighten down all these spring eye bolts and nuts. Uh, what you want to do is just kind of get those snug at first and then we're going to use a hammer to just drive it down the rest of the way until that collar's all the way in and up against the, uh, up against the shackle hangers here. I got that one pretty snug already. Tighten 
tighten down. And you'll have to repeat this process as you go along of just tightening down and then button it back up as far as the hammer, trying to get that end all the way to your hanger. As I'm going through tightening these down, I wanted to make sure to mention that these don't have a torque spec specific for these spring eye bolts. You'll just have to get them just snug enough where you're still gonna allow movement and allow travel for the leaf springs in the hangers. We are going to be tightening all of these down. It's not just the ones on the equalizer there. So just run through, same process, front and rear shackles, and then uh, complete on the other side as well. And once we've got the castle nut tightened down and the cotter pin through it and pushed out of the way, we're gonna come on the front side here and just give this enough grease that you'll be able to see on the back side that the, uh, that the grease is oozing out of the bushing. And that'll conclude our look at and installation for the True Ride Equalizer for two inch slip leaf springs. My name's Ian with E-Trailer. Thanks for watching.